Welcome everybody to the 2017 Duke 390. This bike just won the Indian Bike of the Year award. So, you know, I couldn't resist getting my hands on it. Let's get the technical specs out of the way. This bike has a 373cc single cylinder engine, produces 42 brake horsepower at 9,000 RPM, and produces 37 torques at 7,000 RPM. One thing I can guarantee that because of this engine, this bike has an extreme hooligan character, and I absolutely adore it. So the brakes on this bike are dual disc brakes. It has a disc brake on the front and the rear. It's got dual channel ABS. And the front brakes are 320 mm, the rear brakes are 230 mm, and I think that's pretty sufficient for the weight of this bike. Because this bike is pretty light at around 165 to 170 kgs, it's pretty light. So, with the power, these brakes do an excellent job of stopping the bike. 5 inch TFT screen is a marvel because it lets you handle a lot of different things. Firstly, you can change what ABS settings you want on the bike. You can pair your phone to the Bluetooth and you can change music tracks and you can answer and reject calls directly from the screen. It's a marvel and it actually enhances the looks greatly and I think it's a real eye catcher in this segment and I think more bikes should get this. Kudos to KTM for fitting this on the Duke 390. I really adore this feature. As I've mentioned before the technical details of this engine. I've already said that this engine lends a hooligan character to this bike and you just need to twist the throttle and you realize what a hooligan of a bike it is. I mean, it doesn't even hesitate in lifting the front wheel up and you have to be really awake to handle all the, en all the power. The torque is really up high in the rev range. Uh, there is really less torque in the low end of the RPM because the bike really suffers to stay in a higher gear in a low RPM. I mean you can hear the engine stuttering. Keep it in the right gear and the right RPM and this bike will fly in any gear. I mean you, really, you better be awake to control this bike. The handling is very neutral. The bike being so light makes it easy to point in the corner and the mid sellers tires make sure that the bike will grip to the corner. The lightweight can be uncanny in the beginning, but it's only a matter of getting used to before you can really enjoy the limits this bike has. And let me tell you that this bike has no limits. You can actually lean really low and carry a lot of speed. In conclusion, I'd like to say that this is a pretty sorted bike. I mean, it has its pros and its cons, but I'm sure the pros outweigh the cons any day. The pros are that the engine is a rocket. I mean, it's a scorcher of a unit. Keep it in high in the revs and you'll make extremely rapid progress. The brakes are equally good. I mean, you can stop on a dime. It's really useful for the performance on hand. The weight is really less, so you can really flick it in corners. It's really flickable. I mean, you know, I can only say, but I urge everyone to actually try it out and they'll know how nimble the bike actually is. The next pro is that TFT screen. I know it doesn't sound very significant but let me tell you that it's a tension seeker. That TFT screen accomplishes so much and it's so amazing. I mean I just think KTM needs to give GPS navigation on it and it's just gonna be the best feature ever. There are a few cons though like the bike does heat up and you can often hear the cooling fans running over time in traffic. The fuel economy does take a dip when you are actually pinning the throttle all the way to the red line. And KTM hasn't been very consistent on quality control. But that's something that KTM is working really hard on. Rest for 2.44 lakhs on road. I do not think there is anything better right now available for sale. And on that note, thank you very much for watching, see you next time, goodbye.